horseshoe crabs may look prehistoric, and they've actually been around for more than 400 million years. They've certainly outlived the dinosaurs. But are they going to survive for another 400 million? I'm near Nosset Beach on Cape Cod in Massachusetts, and I'm here with ecologist Dr. Sarah Grady, who's a horseshoe crab expert. Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you doing? Good. So how did these remarkable and remarkably strange looking creatures survive for so long? Well, they are pretty tough. They have no real natural predators, and they've got these really hard shells, and they just kind of keep doing their thing. <laughs> And of course, this is why they're called horseshoe crabs, yes. but they're not really crabs. No, they're not. They're actually more closely related to spiders and scorpions. So are horseshoe crabs in trouble? Um, in some places they are, um, and that's because of a couple of reasons. They're harvested for bait for the whelk fishery, um, which kills them. And then they're also harvested for their blood which is used to test whether things like IVs or vaccines are sterile. And when they're bled, they are returned to the water, but some of them still die in that process. They also have experienced quite a bit of habitat loss along our coastline. So what can we do to try to help protect these creatures? Well, the best way we can protect them is by supporting laws that might protect them. Recently in Massachusetts, we were able to pass something that keeps them from being harvested while they're laying their eggs on the beach. And also by protecting their habitat, protecting the beaches where they spawn, protecting the quality of the water where they're living. So of course, we have no idea what's gonna happen in the next 400 million years, but let's do what we can to make sure these creatures are around to see it. To make sure you never miss But Why, like this video and subscribe to our channel. And find out more at butwhykids.org.